Hey everybody, welcome to my first Let's Play. I just saw this on YouTube. I'm a, you know, it's like slowpoke mode, so I finally saw it. Everybody's playing games, so I decided to do the same thing. And we're going to be playing X Evil. I like to call it X Evil. I actually played this game like about, I don't know, 10 years ago. No, actually 14 years ago. And uh, since that time, I was recalling the game from time to time, thinking that it's such a weird game. I really want to find it, but I never could find the title, recall how it was called. And finally, finally, like about a month ago, I actually spotted it on some old games website. And so X Evil is a free game released under G GNU GPL license. And we're playing it right now. I'll be telling you what it's all about. But uh, basically, one of the things that really inspired me about the game is that it actually generates levels randomly. So the level you're seeing right now is a unique level in the world of gaming. Nobody has seen this level before. Uh, so the, the point of the game is that you're actually dead. Okay, guys, you, you start the game as actually being dead. And you are, you get into, of course, hell, and then you have to entertain the Satan by, you know, fighting with, with weird monsters and with fellow dead people. Uh, and so you have to, you know, there are several modes of game, but right now we're just passing levels. And so what you're doing here is, uh, it's really like Quake, but in 2D mode. You just have to kill each other and have to do it skillfully. You have a number of very funny weapons or right and you have several funny heroes like this ninja here it's actually a woman so lady ninja yay so these are kind of weird uh, for example uh i got a trans magnifier if i use it then i instantly become some other character and uh so that's you know that's the way the game is played you have uh kind of weird uh characters with very weird uh, uh, weapons and you have to use that to your advantage uh, you have several lives and monsters don't and you have to uh, sort of pass through the levels and kill everybody in the beginning of each level it says for example kill all machines and i always thought that this is like uh, that means they have to kill all the robots but in reality it just means that you have to kill everybody so i have no idea what the game means it actually has a website and you can read about every monster and about every weapon and about every you know, like weaknesses and strength that everybody has. And you can actually play this game uh, online with other people, but you have to set up a server. So as far as I know, there are no servers right now. And uh, uh, I actually have uh, my wife sitting here, Catherine, and she thinks that the game is not very good. She thinks that it's a, a very uh, hostile game, right? Aggressive, a lot of blood and gore. Uh, so I think that it's cool. Uh, I was just killed. I think that this is unfair, but anyway, life is unfair here. How can you expect fairness in uh, in hell? I don't think you can. So right now I'm a robot. Robot, come on, come on, man. Yeah, I want to kill this creature. So you know the purple creature, you can't become it. You uh, they never give you the choice. You have like a very limited choice of who you can become. But uh, this purple creature, you can transform into it. If you have this trans magnifier, for example. Also, you have drugs in the game. You actually have drugs in the game. Yay, I killed it. Uh, but, you know, robots can't use drugs, which is a pity. Right, so this thing gives me something. Like, uh, whoa, yeah, this dude, you can't also become hi him. You can't choose him. And, by the way, yeah, I I'm, I'm saying choose. You never choose anything in this game. Everything happens randomly. So, I've just be become this guy... And I didn't choose that. They just randomly assigned me to this to this person. He's a named hero, named Arnold. Notice the Arnold thing there. Yeah, so let's talk about Windows versus Linux here. Uh, I'm right now playing a Windows version on Linux through Wine. And the reason I'm playing a Windows version is because Linux version sucks, guys. As usual, it has some half-baked features that were never completed. Initially, the game was made for Linux, uh, but then it was ported to Windows. Here are the main disadvantages of the Linux version. Number one, it does not have a very good graphical user interface, if you know what I mean, guys. Graphical user interface is one of the biggest problems on many Linux software. 
So right now, if you look down, you can see, uh, let's see, w you can see the weapon, and it's actually drawn. You can see the ninja, whatever, how do you call them? Uh, then you see this uh, blue shield. Let me activate it. In the Linux version, you'll just see text or numbers. You'll just see text, for example. Let's just say power shield. And so it's like, it's more difficult to react to during the game. Then you see health 200, and then you see a very cool green health bar. So in the Linux version, you just have the numbers. So just having numbers, I think, sucks. And so you have humans, enemies, all that stuff. Uh, I think that's the same. Uh, also, you can go to settings there, and you can choose various options, and it's, like, uh, it, it's very good-looking. It's very easy to use. Whereas in the Linux version, you have... Uh, like a bar here and it has several buttons and you have only a few options to choose and then you have to go to the text file and edit it there and you know so you know the procedure is the same also it allows you to do the networking very easily whereas uh, in the Linux version of course you have to do it through the common line but that's not it do you hear the guy shooting you can do that I mean, hear him shooting because it is a Windows version. In Linux version, you don't have sound. Guys, you don't have sound. How can you do your killing when you don't hear your enemies shout like Aah! or groan? I mean, you need to do that stuff uh, if you want to get, you know, any, any pleasure out of this game. Whoa. Yeah, see? I mean, imagine this guy dying just quietly. That's not even half of the fun. So, let's go ahead and kill some more, if we can. Yeah, so, anyway, but as you see, the Windows version runs fine. I don't have any problems with it. Uh, it's, it's like, normal. It doesn't have any freeze-ups or anything. Uh, okay, so, wow, wow. So, whoa, puppies. These are very deadly puppies, so you, you want to avoid them. Yeah, see. So uh, yeah, every level has, might have, a weird goal. So right now I probably have to kill all the puppies. I think I missed the title while talking to you. So uh, these puppies, you can actually have a weapon that, uh, that allows you to own two of those puppies. And then those puppies will go ahead and try to kill your enemies. So this is a pretty cool thing. But in this level I probably have to kill them all to, to go through. And I have... How many lives? Extra lives, zero. That's it. That's my last chance there. Whoa! Get, get away. Get away, you puppy. I don't know. Okay, so this is tough. So, so this is not, you know, this is not like a girl's game or something. It's not even like a kid's game. It's like a very, very adult game or something. I don't know. I think it's fine. I mean, come on, they're not really dying. They're in hell. They're already dead. So, I guess that all these dogs are already dead. They're like bad dogs. What kind of dogs do you get in hell? I don't know, they look fine though. They actually look kind of cute. I have to admit. Especially when they're trying to eat you. They're like, wow, cutie. Come on, come on. So I'm almost done here. So I'm hoping that after this Let's Play, everybody's like, yeah, I want to play this game too. Right? So I'm hoping this is not very boring. But anyway, who cares? I mean, I've looked through several Let's Plays. I don't feel that their authors really care whether it's interesting or not. Maybe that's like part of the fun. You have to make a, you have to play a game on screen and not care whether it's fun or not. Right, so I'm set, Satan's Shoehorn. Yeah, they give you a rank when it's game over and then you can start over again. So uh, before like quitting this game, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. You have, uh, you, can, you, you can do training and that means that it'll just generate a level. And so you see here room dimensions and uh, I think the smallest one is one one, I think. No, probably not. Probably two two. Oh right, I have to. I have to press new. Right. So yeah, you can actually find yourself in a very small level, 
Yeah, yeah, I think I can do 1-1. One, one. Wait a minute. I really want to show you 1-1. One, one. You can do 0-0, zero, zero, though. So Right, so it generates a level, and there are no enemies here, so it's like training mode. Uh, and, uh, whoa, looks like I can't get up. They said that it's like it should be guaranteed. Well, that's because you're in the same. So the game says that it guarantees that you can get to every section of the room using all the all of the characters or some of the characters. Uh, okay, so yeah. Anyway, so that's X evil. Uh, actually, they have uh, dual, but that's for 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 people. Scenarios: kill, kill, kill. Meaning just you know just going around and killing it. Basically, this is just one level. And when you kill everybody, that's it. The, the game stops. But level is fine. And I could never make the soundtrack work. So if you look at it, there's like another uh, Let's Play on YouTube of Exevil, and uh, you can hear the soundtrack. It's pretty cool. But unfortunately, I probably have to configure MIDI files. So anyway... Okay, thanks everybody, and I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of X-Evil.